morning guys i'm sitting in the car not sure if i want to film this or should i film this also not sure if i'm gonna put it on my youtube channel but i'm back Ooh. oh no i'm back at the salon where i got my first diva cut and i'm here I'm here to get my hair in shape again. Let me just see if I can. I'm actually here again at Corin's place. A bit early. Um, but I'm coming for a second diva cut. Which I'm really excited about getting. Um, I just decided to message her once and say. I messaged her and I asked her if she can shave my hair again for me. And just to give my hair a bit more volume. Um, reason for it for the cut is I just want my hair in a shape that can give me more volume. At the moment I feel like my shape is not giving me volume. And there's no shape to it. So I messaged her, asked her if she can shape my hair again for me. She did tell me that my hair is it's not what it's not there's no level of volume it's not leveled right so i'm here to get my second diva cut a bit early going at 9 30 not sure what's the time now i think it's like an hour left until she cut my hair i did get me some snacks got me like this minty green and white mints and i got me a coke while i wait for her i had to actually i actually had to be by her at nine but then when I messaged her, she said at 9.30. So I thought, okay, it's fine. I'll just wait here for her. And obviously I had to leave Poch early because it's like an hour drive from where I stay. I went off drive from where I stay to Corin's place or to Joburg in Santon. It's in Santon. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to post this. I'm not sure if I'm going to announce that I did do a diva cut again. Um... I do have some ideas, photos, ideas that I'm going to give her to show her, you know, the star that I want. So this is how my hair look. I don't want to touch it too much because she does the dry cut. And normally when you have, when you go to her, you come in your hair with its natural state. Um, not too much products on your hair so that it weighs your hair down. Um, but yeah, this is my hair. Also, not sure if I'm gonna film in the salon. We'll try to take here and there a few videos, but I'm not gonna make it too long and not too in detailed. Um, so I, I'm basically, I'm just gonna give you a better bit of um, snaps of the process. I do have a video on my YouTube of my diva cut. But yeah, go check that out if you didn't check it out. And if you're new here, please don't forget to like and to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Also, I am on Instagram, so you can follow me at Tams and Thomas. Um, yeah, about Corin, she did my hair the first time. I loved it the first time, like it was everything to me. So I'm here for the second time, meaning I trust a lot and I've recommended so many people to her to a salon uh, so if I recommend someone it means that I love that person or that person did a wonderful job um, so I'm here for my second time and hopefully this will be my last time so yeah see you when I go in the salon I'm just gonna sit here in the car waiting for the time to go by and then then I'll walk over to the salon Maybe I'll film and see where I'll show you guys where and how to walk to the salon. Because I'm currently parked by the mall. And then I just walk over. Oh, then I walk over to like the salon area. Which is on my left hand side, not too far. So it is my first time, my second time here. So I know already how to walk and where to walk. Because like I always get nervous when I have to go to a place. I always make sure that I know that there's parking space. So yeah, I'll film maybe go into the salon. And then I'll see you guys when I come back or maybe in the salon of how my hair looks. Let me just give you like a 360. 
like I'm sitting in the car it's difficult to move um so yeah maybe I'll even come with a different color hairstyle out you know me I'm very again I'm very impulsive I can do things at the spot on the spot anytime but my hair is quite long I still have to post my blowout that I did I actually did the blowout because I wanted to see how long my hair is before I cut it I also want to do out another blowout when after I cut my hair so we'll see if I love my hair too much then that blowout is gonna have to wait but see you guys sorry guys for this bad video um, I was so afraid that they would grab my phone while as I'm walking to the salon as you can see it's quite a distance from where I parked but it's like a two minute walk to the salon and that's the salon there I arrived at Karen and she basically just consulted with me of what style I want to and then she told me she will give me a bit of a lift so that it creates the volume and you guys I was so surprised when she started cutting my hair like so two minutes into the process I could really see that my hair is transforming into the shape that I actually wanted and the volume I was getting while she was cutting my hair was what I actually came for. Um, as I spoke to her, I mentioned to her that I would actually want to add color and then she did a strand test while she was busy cutting my hair and then just to see if um, you know the color would take and she told me this is not bleach, it is um, a color that you can put on and after 45 minutes the color doesn't take um, so we just did a strand test to see if the color would take on my hair because I previously dyed my hair or colored my hair and I used box dye so that's why she um, had to do a strand test so that she can see if that if the box or the the color she put on does not damage my hair or doesn't give a different color to what it's supposed to give but yeah um she gave me a bit of volume from on the top and we just spoke throughout the whole process of her cutting my hair since i arrived until i left i well, i told you i think my appointment was at nine or my appointment was at nine and i left the salon at two so you can imagine the amount of talking and i must mention you will see me not film the wash process because her assistant mary just gave me the best experience ever karen also gave me a free treatment when she washed my hair i think it was the Olaplex three that she used on my hair as a free treatment because you know she always does it because of my birth my birthday so she always does it for me this is how my cut looked before she started the color process and this is just me showing you guys how my hair was cut after cutting it and then they started with the coloring process um yeah as i said no longer than 45 minutes was the color on my hair so i was just like feeling it i was just feeling the cut actually and um as you can see when she is busy applying the color on my hair i was just allowing her to do a thing i wasn't interfering um i must say after she rinsed out the um or in the process of styling my hair I felt as if I can't see the color but you know when I went into the sun and she took some photos of my hair I actually felt it but yeah um, in the salon the salon is in Santon the cut was a thousand rand um, I can put the details on in the description box um, Karen is a really amazing person she's the only certified diva haircut stylist in south africa and she's based in johannesburg so you can always contact her if you didn't watch my previous diva cut video then you can go watch it it is on my page and it has more defined details um i'm gonna give you the products that she styled my hair with it was the intrinsic curly me cream um styler and then she used the on i think it's the uncle freddy or the curl, I just know that it's curl magic gel that she used on my hair. And as you can see, as she's applying and stretching my hair, she's using the the prayer method. She's using all different type of methods, scrunching methods um, on my hair. And 
you can actually see that I still have the length of my hair and she really goes in when she cuts your hair she goes in cutting it one curl at a time and that is all what the diva cut is about it's about giving you a shape the volume you know curls have to be cut in layers so that you can get the volume and also diva cut is about cutting one curl at a time in its natural straight state so you don't go with wet hair you go in with dry hair to your stylist when cutting your hair guys please never cut curly hair when it's wet always cut it when it's in its curly state dry and it probably like two to three days i know i washed my hair before i went to Karen because <laughs> my hair spoils easily at night so this is just a you know styling my hair the blow drying or the diffusing part was kept on one um one like volume like level one of the volume of your hair dryer but on medium heat and high speed none of my you know, none of my curls get damaged through this. Because imagine dyeing your hair or coloring your hair and then still using heat on it. I just can't think about it. But yeah, my hair didn't take long to get dry. And yeah, this is it. This is like, she was just giving me everything that I wanted on this day. I was really happy. So guys, this is the rest of the video I want you to watch and enjoy and you will see the final results at the end and if it's not clear for you please visit my instagram page at tamsin thomas and you'll see how the results of my hair